checked your doors to make sure there are lots of people in the room. Okay, how many of you guys check behind the shower curtain to see if there's anybody in there before you see the restroom? <laughs> <laughs> I know there's more than you guys are lying. Okay, well, and how many of you guys have done this repeatedly? Like over and over. You know there's no one there, but you just keep checking. You do that? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, this is a sign of OCD. OCD can affect <laughs> 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 obsession compulsive disorder. Many from mild to severe cases. I'm pretty sure we all know that person that has to make everything perfect. I relate to OCD because I too like to have things perfect. OCD can have many negative effects on the person who has it. First, I'm going to be talking about the different things that cause OCD, then about the different types of OCD and how this affects the person who has it. First, let's talk about the different cases. Obsessive, obsessive compulsive disorder is an anxiety disorder. Um, people who have it have extreme reactions to fear, uncertainty, or worry. This constant worry, um, they have constant worry on their mind. Why? What causes it? According to an article on the New York Times in 2008, it is due to a biochemical factor. So what is a biochemical factor? It refers to the suggestion that there is an imbalance of neurotransmitters and this imbalance is causing the anxiety disorder. Neurotransmitters are chemicals in the brain that send messages from neuron to neuron. According to the New York Times in 2008 and kidshealth.org, the neurotransmitters causing the OCD are serotonin. Serotonin is being blocked and the brain starts to overreact. These overreactions enact the sense of danger. So now that we know what causes OCD, what are the different types? According to the article on the New York Times in 2008, obsessive compulsive disorder can be separated into two types. There is compulsive behaviors and associated obsessive disorders. Um, obsessive compulsive behaviors are persistent thoughts or ideas. They can range widely from worries whether the door was locked or to frightening thoughts toward a loved one. Compulsive behaviors are repetitive, rigid, and self-directed routines that are intended to prevent the manifestation of an associated obsession, including constantly washing your hands or checking the door. Associated obsessive disorders are the disorders that may be part of the OCD spectrum, such as body dysmorphic disorder, which is the constant idea that you're ugly. Then there's hypochondriasis, which is the excessive fear of having a serious disease, and there's many more. So how does this affect the person who has it? In an article by Anne Craig Cinnamon, Cinnamon on IB Times in 2013, a man describes his life with OCD. He remembers having to this ritual as a child where he would consistently check everything to make sure nothing bad would happen. He says, a pattern that today, 50 years later, still impacts my life, my daily life. Although I have managed to hide my condition from everyone, but those who live with me, my mind is never free from OCD. The article in the New York Times says it can seriously affect the person's quality of life. They suffer from depression, headaches, obesity, stomach aches, sleep disorders, and many more. Um, obsessive compulsive disorder can have many negative effects on a person. So now we, so now we know that what causes OCD. So now we know what causes OCD, which is the imbalance in neurotransmitters. We know the two different types, the associated um, compulsive disorder and the obsessive compulsive disorder. And we know the 